Okay, so today's classic game review is called Attack on Altair. It's a game from 1982-3 by Windmill Software. Now, um, I heard about this. It's actually an ASCII mode game, and uh, I have never played it before. But it's it's been quite difficult to get to work, so I haven't been able to get it to work in DOSBox. But apparently you can if you set your machine to be in Tandy mode or CGA mode. And I didn't get that to work because basically I just couldn't be <laughs> bothered. I think. So I thought, well, I'll get it working on a real machine. This machine here has an EGA card, so I actually have to tell it to uh, emulate CGA. So that's me in CGA mode now. And um, if I get into the right directory, it does actually work. So it's a little 46 and a half K uh, com file. And uh, these are the guys that brought us, I think, basically the same year. Um, a much more sophisticated game than this one, and it's called uh, Digger, which is a brilliant game. One of my, my favourite early PC games, it's actually quite original, it's kind of like Dig Dug and Pac-Man and lots of different games all kind of rolled into one but done really, really well, and it has a set of almost like digitised sound, really great game. Anyway, this is Attack on Altair. And it's quite a, you know, not a, lot, not a lot of people know about this this particular game. So here it is, all in its CGA, was, and, and all its CGA text mode awesomeness. Uh, the keys are, like you think, uh, uh, to begin with, pretty straightforward. But it's actually F1 to fire, which is um, bizarre. F1 does not seem logical. So it speeds up quite a lot. Um, now this is actually being played on an XT286, so I don't know if this is the original speed of the game, but it, <laughs> it's pretty it's pretty quick. And this is all in text mode, CGA text mode. And if you try and run it in EGA or VGA, it, it just goes completely haywire. In fact, it made my um, EGA display here, my, when I ran it in native EGA mode, it made it look horribly bad, so it almost made it look like it was doing it damage. So I don't know if I'm doing good or bad here, but I can see there's a little progress indicator down at the bottom. It almost feels like a graphical game, to be honest with you, it doesn't feel that I'm playing an ASCII text game. It's it's quite, it's, it's, it's fast paced, it's quite enjoyable, and you know, it's not an awful lot to it. I kind of like the little radar it's got at the top there, blinking back and forth. And I like the fact, oh jeez, what, what happened there? <laughs> I've got no idea what that was. I guess those blue things might be some sort of bonuses. I've got a few of those. But they travel pretty fast. I don't know whether I'm supposed to shoot them or... No, I don't think I'm supposed to stay in them. It's getting pretty fast. Ah! I don't know what happened there. And I have a feeling that this this um, cavern here is getting narrower, or maybe it's just me. I could definitely see um, the nine-year-old me having a lot of fun with this game. I blew him to buggery, whatever, whatever he was. Oh, yeah, yeah, and I blew him away as well. And him. I don't know if that was a good thing or a bad thing. <laughs> Oh, 
Okay. Did I win? Or did I die? <laughs> so I got a new high score. That is Attack on Altair. This is a, a running demo now of the game um, without sound. So I don't, I, uh, I don't, I'm not sure whether I, uh, I know the rules fully of the game yet, but um, if you fancy playing it, those are the caveats you need to be aware of. If you're playing it on like DOSBox or something like that, you need to be using it with a... Um, with uh, with a sort of um, Tandy mode or CGA mode or something like that. If you're using um, the real PC, make sure it's either a real CGA display or make sure it's um, it's got some sort of uh, compatibility um, enablement like what I did with mine. <laughs> 